Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back yet again trying out these mini palettes from I Heart Revolution. So today I'm going to be trying out the fried egg. I've already tried out the cherry please and I've also got peach please to try out but I'll do that on a different day. So fried egg, we have got a neutral palette. We've got five shades and we've got two shimmers with poppy yellow. I feel like this is the palette for today because it's literally 28 degrees outside and I must be crazy filming this video because I'm sweating already. So if you want to see how fried egg performs on my eyes today, then hit subscribe, carry on watching, and let's go before I'm out. I really have to tie my hair up. Okay, so I have got in my moisturizer, I just use the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. That's why I'm looking extra glowy i mean it could be sweat at this point so if you haven't seen me try out the cherry please palette i will link it down below this has got um pastel pinks and reds well i want to say this is a red it's quite of a corally pink um but it's described on their website it's a red but it's a really cute palette if you want to know my thoughts the video is down below so yeah today i'll be focusing on fried egg i absolutely love this packaging i think out of all of them i prefer this packaging and i really like the packaging on the friday feels one as well which i still contemplating whether to get it or not i really do want to get it because i just think these are such a cute collection like it's one of those collections that you've got to get them all because it's just so cute love the neutrals and the poppy yellow in there it has to be a must to have a yellow because you know we need the yolk. And it also got these cute indents of fried egg. Question is, how do you like your eggs? I do like myself a boiled egg. I can't eat fried, but I prefer my boiled. Beauty Bay eye base going straight on the lids. I'll just use this to prime. I'm gonna start off with the darker shade in the pan, this dark brown here. I'm gonna put that on the out corners. Let's see how this packs on, yeah. I feel like I'm just looking more sweaty as the video goes on. Yeah, I've got no complaints about this brown. It's doing what it needs to do for my out corner. It's got a good pigment to it and yeah, I've got no issues with it. So I'm gonna try to blend it out with a slightly lighter brown. And I'm just gonna tap that also on the out corner too. There is another light shade of brown which I will use to blend it out further. I'm gonna add more of it into the crease as well. Maybe I could cut the crease. Oh my God, it's too hot for that. Can you imagine? Okay, so far so good. I'm now gonna go into a really light shade brown. So this one, I'm gonna try to use a big fluffy brush for this. These are GWA brushes. So I'm gonna go in here. I cannot wait to see how the shimmers perform because if you saw my last video, just a bit lackluster. They were fine, but you'd see in the video my thoughts. It still came out a nice look, but I just had some thoughts on the shimmer, that's all. And yeah, they all blended nicely together. I think I might cut the crease, you know. Like, I don't normally do this. But I feel like I could get that pop of yellow in there onto the crease really well. So, Jesus Christ. Before I cut the crease, I will go in the lower lash line dead quick. I'm just gonna use this exactly the same shades that I used on top, but just on the bottom. P. Louise Base Room 02. I'm just gonna quick speed this. Not perfect, but I really want to add some of that yellow. I'm just gonna pat the excess off. I feel like I put too much on. Okay, so let's try shimmer. I'm gonna use my finger first. The last time I tried one of these shimmers, it worked better with a brush with the cherry, please. So I'm gonna use my finger first, and we have got that. Ooh. And the yellow one is, oh, that's bright. Shall we go with the gold first to see how that applies? With a finger. Oh, this works so much better than the Cherry Please Shimmer. That is stunning. What the heck? Okay, so with a finger, that goes on nice. I am going to wet my brush just to see if it performs better with a brush when it's wet. So I'm just going to use my e.l.f. spray. This is I Heart Revolution. And I'm just gonna see how it goes on with a brush on this side. Oh, 
Interesting. You know what? I feel like with this one, I prefer to use my finger. So, that's strange because with the cherry please, it was all about the brush. But yeah, this. It is a bit chunky, it's a bit thick, but it's giving what you need for the look. Um, yeah, I just feel like it works. We have to try that yellow. So let's go with the yellow. I'm gonna go with my pinky and let's just see how the yellow pats on. Oh yeah. Mm. I will need to use a brush though because I need to get really precise on the crease so i'm going to take a brush and you know what i might just wet it oh wow that's actually really nice how nice is that you know what i'm preferring this palette over the cherry please just the the quality of the shimmers and that surprised me because you'd think it performed exactly the same but oh wow i really like that that is stunning i'm gonna go with the shimmers on the lower lash line as well just on the inner corner bit So for my brow highlight, I might go with that gold again. I feel like it might be too dark though. Oh, no. That looks nice. I'm gonna take one of Dr. Seuss's. Uh, let's go, let's go with two shades. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And, oh, the places you'll go, the orange and yellow. Let's just make this more yellow and orange I think it might look better with a black actually should I do with a black in the waterline just on that out corner so here's what the eyes are looking like really happy I might put some lashes on because I'm feeling it so I'm gonna go off camera do my base and everything and I can come back and I can tell you my verdict which you probably already know but I'll still share with you. Okay, so we've had, we've had a cool down, we've had a drink, I've done the rest of my makeup, and I must say, I'm preferring Friday egg over cherry, please. Um, yeah, so here's the makeup look. I don't know where it is. I, I don't know where it is, but I just feel like the shimmers in this work so much better than the cherry please i felt like with the cherry please it was very hard pressing the pan like you can see there that's what i mean it's like builded up here and i don't know why maybe fried egg will turn out like that i don't know but so far it hasn't done that and it's done that to the cherry please the first time i used it but it hasn't done that with this one so i don't know what's happening there but yeah i prefer this over cherry please um yeah really feeling summer now this is defo a summer palette it is a really nice neutral eyeshadow but i just feel like that yellow and that over shimmer adds something it just turns it into a bright look already i feel like this is a really good palette if you're into your neutrals but you just want to add a bit of brightness and this palette certainly does that if you're wondering what i've got on my face i'll go through it you now i've got the oh my god i much needed this this oh, this is heaven when it's hot like this this is the i Heart revolution tasty watermelon primer oh my god i needed this i felt so hot on my face and this felt so nice and cooling i've got my pretty little thing foundation on in the shade golden beige and then for my concealer i used two today i used the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade fair warm and then just to add a little brightness oh this is leaking <laughs> i used the revolution eye bright illuminating under eye concealer this isn't my favorite concealer i've realized um i feel like the coverage is not there but i still like to use it because i want to use it up it's in the shade fair and then for my cream blush i use the i Heart revolution tasty watermelon which i'm really starting to like more now I'm getting more confident with it and then i powdered it down with the w7 banana dreams and then i layered another blush using the l'oreal life's a peach and then i went to my favorite highlighter in a minute this is the revolution collab with love island i've got it in the shade stun hun this highlighter is beautiful 
And then for my lips, I wanted to keep it fresh, no matte. I used, what did I use? I used the NYX Lip Pencil in shade Natural. And then over that, I tried to scrape as much as I can. This is the I Heart Revolution Lip Topper, Princess Lip Topper in the shade, what is it? Tiana from Princess and the Frog. I really like this. It's just such a nice summer lip gloss. And then after that, I just sprayed myself with Morphe Continuous Spray. And I think that is everything. Oh, lashes. I used the Primer Lash Dainty in the shape D11. Yeah, D11. Um, they went on a bit dodgy, but it doesn't matter. But here we are. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts, what you think. And will you be picking this up? I cannot wait to try out Peach Please next. And do you want me to buy the other two? So the other two was Oops a Daisy, which was like a pastel one. And the other one was called Friday Feels, which was much more like colorful, bright. It had a pop of blue in there, which looks really nice and yellow. But yeah, I am now going to have some ice cream because I need something to cool me down. We don't have aircon. The UK is not good for aircon. We, we haven't really gotten to that stage where everywhere is air conned. But yeah, if you're looking to see what the Peach Please performs like, then hit subscribe so you don't miss out. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.